This or this? What is up my friends? Welcome back to your average gents. It's your boy Evan. I always emphasize on my channel to go with the basics. Build the foundation of your wardrobe with the basic and neutral colors. Colors such as your black, white, grey, navy blue, olive green, beige, brown. It doesn't matter whether your skin is black, white, yellow, brown. Everybody looks good in the basic and neutral colors. Because neutral colors are easy to match and they are not too overpowering, they're just more pleasing to the eyes than the super loud and super bright colors. That being said, if you want to add some color and spice up your outfit a little bit, I got you covered as well. Now choosing the right color for your skin complexion will make your skin look more vibrant and more balanced. It doesn't mean that you can't wear any other colors, it just means that when you wear these colors that suit your skin, it will make your skin more vibrant and it will make your skin pop. Now before I get into what color is right for your skin, we need to find out what is your skin complexion or rather what is your skin undertone. Is it warm or is it cool? The first test to find out your skin undertone is the vein test. Very simple, either you can look at your veins on the back of your palm or on your forearm. Is it bluish or is it greenish? Now it is important to look at it under direct sunlight because if you look at it under a light source that is warm or cool, it may affect how your veins look. Okay, so if your veins look more greenish, then you have a more warm undertone. And if your veins look more bluish, then you have a cooler undertone. This is because those with a warm undertone, they have a more yellowish skin and those who have a cooler undertone, they will have a more pale and and a more pinkish skin. And our veins are blue, right? So if they're under pinkish or pale skin, they will still look bluish or purplish. But under yellowish skins, blue plus yellow equals you got it, green. But if you can't tell and it is like a turquoise color, then you likely have a neutral undertone. As you can see, mine is not that obvious. It is kind of in between. Now there's a second test that you can use to find out your skin undertone and that is the jewelry test. Take a gold and a silver jewelry. If you don't have, steal from your mom or your girlfriend. Don't do that, borrow from them, all right? And you put them on on your wrist. Check out which actually makes your skin pop. Which one makes your skin look more radiant and glowing? People with warm undertones looks better in gold or rose gold and those with cooler undertones looks better in silver. For me, although my veins looks pretty neutral but in terms of gold or silver, I must admit that I look better in silver. Now that you have determined your skin undertone, let's talk about what colors suit better with your skin complexion. It is actually pretty straightforward. You can basically split the color wheel right down the center into warm and cool colors. If you have warm skin tones, then you'll look better with warmer colors on the warmer side of the color wheel. Vice versa, if you have cooler skin tones, then you'll look better with cooler colors at the cooler side of the color wheel. Now, I'm gonna borrow this color lookbook from the ladies to demonstrate. For example, those with warmer skin undertones will look awesome in these warmer and richer colors such as red, orange, mustard, yellow, olive green. And those with cooler skin undertones will look fantastic with cooler and deeper colors such as dark green, any shades of blue, purple, indigo. And if you have neutral skin undertones, then congratulations my friend. You can pretty much rock any of these colors, but most people will still have a predominant skin undertone. So I still recommend finding out which of these warmer or cooler colors suits you the best. And if you're observant about my videos or my photos on Instagram, you will find that I naturally gravitate towards blue and I like to wear purple as well. Now, I've tried wearing burgundy, red or pink because I like to step out of the box, right? But I just find that they don't work as well for my skin tone. Now, before I go, I got a bonus tip for you. And that is, try not to wear colors that resembles too similar to your skin color. This is not too bad yet because I'm not that brown, but be a little careful when you're wearing black or white, especially if you have super dark or super light skin. Now, I know that I said black and white is the foundation of every man's wardrobe, but for example, if you have super pale skin, try not to wear white or beige because they just resemble too closely to your skin skin color and make your skin look really washed out and it might even make you look like you're not wearing any clothes from far away 
which is awkward. Similarly, if your skin is really dark, then try to avoid wearing black or dark brown. It will take the vibrancy out of your skin and doesn't make your skin pop. So wear something that has a little bit of contrast with your skin. And if you forget about everything that I talk about in this video, then stick to navy blue because everybody looks good in navy blue and that is it for today's video if you found this video helpful make sure to help your boy out and smash that thumbs up button for the youtube algorithm and if you are new to this channel make sure to click the subscribe button below and turn on the notification bell because i will be dropping at least two new dope videos every single week and you don't want to miss it man once again my name is evan you're watching your average gent and i'll see each and every single one of you in my next video bam <laughs>